Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is The World Away and happy Friday. I thought today we're going to end the week with doing pack 9 of the Agora models release and build the Porsche 917KH. So as you can see, it's all laid out here. Quite an in-depth little part this is. It's going to start off really detailed and then we get to some bigger, bulkier bits later on. Uh, so this is going to take a little while to do. Uh, today, we're also going to be working on one of these pipes. Do you remember when we did that? that I said we don't need these two short pipes in the side and I took one of them out. Today, you're going to realise why we needed to do that. So if you want to get this for yourself, I have put the link down here to the Agora Models website. You can get this all the way from pack one. But without further ado, let's get cracking. So a massive place to start here. We have got the front floor panel and dashboard that we're going to be putting into place here. This is what the floor panel looks like. This is all metal. But we're not going to be using that to start off with on this stage. What we are going to be doing is installing the dashboard. Now, the dashboard has three switches that we installed last time coming off of this. Now, all of these switches are gonna be going behind the fuse box that we've got there. So if I gently put that into position, did I say three then? I meant four, there's four switches here. I'm just bringing them all the way through here. So they're going behind the fuse panel. Hopefully you can see this, I've got all these wires coming out the side. I can easily just hook that behind the fuse box now, but I need to put this dashboard into place and it's gonna be screwed in from the underside with MP screws. And as you can see, they look like this. These came in, I believe, uh, stage 64, something like that. So I've got them here. I'm gonna put this on its side and screw this in. Now I've got this side here, but to get this side here, because there's two screws to put in from underside, you do need to take out uh, just this. Is this the fire extinguisher pull here? Just get that out, because that's hiding where the screws are. I could turn this back over and then screw this into place. The other two screws are over this side here. Get them in. And there you go. That's the dashboard in place there. Now, we've got the thumb of putting every single electric cable we got here behind the fuse box. And just out the hole that we've got just in the side here. So, last one in, there we go. That's all four of those cables out. And now I'm just gonna be connecting all of these cables to all of these cables. So every color is now joining together with the expansion sockets that we got there. Hopefully you can see, they're all connected. I've kept the speaker here for now. I might just actually keep that in the seat, but every single plug now is linked up to that section. I can then replace a little fire extinguisher here. Next thing to do, probably best on the top camera there, is I'm gonna take the masking tape off so I can get these headlight wires out of the way. And I wanna just disconnect these headlights from the plugs. One and two. So we've only got these two little sections here left. So turn the car upside down, make sure these are fitting flat here because I'm about to put that base that we had at the start on top. That looks like this. Don't want to trap any wires in the screws, but that's going to go on top just like that there. It's held in with four PM screws. So I've got them here and I'll get these in. You are probably going to need just a tiny bit of oil on these. It is going into metal. But that's the last one in there. If I turn that back over now, that's what it's looking like. I think I am just going to attach this speaker down with a bit of uh, tape again. I don't want it to get damaged, so I'll get some fresh tape on there, but that's all there is to do in that stage. So in stage 66, this is the stage where we're correcting what we had done earlier with the pipe that remember that comes out the side we need a longer version of that and that's what this is for so let's get all the parts out we're actually going to be building and connecting the radiator here 
So the first thing to do is to put the radiator together. And to do that, we need this section just here and the base, which is just gonna go inside like that. Just seeing if it fits a, a better way round. Always good to dry fit these and then just see which way it fits better. This one definitely fits better that way round. And that's gonna be held in with MP screws just in here. I've still got uh, a couple of those left from the last stage, so <laughs> I'm gonna use those ones. One there. And one there. I've got the sides to put on here. Now these are a D-shaped pattern. They're just a push in, so make sure again that we match the right side up. That one fits a lot better there, which means this one is gonna be going in this side, just like that. So we've got some pipe work gonna be coming out the back of this. Now we need to make some pipe work. And to do that, we've got these metal sections here. I'm definitely gonna be using some glue on these sections. And I need to put one of these metal ends into this cable here. So what I find best with this, get my head magnifiers on, is to just keep turning it until it goes in. So I've got one on that side. I'm gonna put one on the other side and then I'm gonna use some liquid glue just to go into the seam there to hold that all in. Now, before I do that though, we've got some ends to put on here, which are these little nipples. They're going on each side. So again, one end is going into that metal rod just there. I'm gonna get that all the way down. So it looks like that. Put one in the other side, and that is a completed lead there. But from experience, I'm just going to touch the base of this and this section just with this liquid glue here. That capillar action on this is gonna run down. This is a CA glue, so it is gonna stick this no problems at all, but I don't want it falling out. I need to make two of these. Now while that's drying, I'm just gonna bring the car back over because what we were meant to do was detach one of the water hoses here, which is coming out of the pump at the back there. But we already did that earlier on, because I knew that I was gonna be changing that. We're actually gonna be changing that. Let me just uh, move this lead out of the way. With this pipe here, which I'm gonna be cutting 28.5 centimeters, uh, 285 millimeters. Now you want two lengths of that, like I've got there. Just gonna turn the car upside down and I'm going to be plugging this into the vacant port that I had with this second lead was plugged into this bit can be tricky but that's on there I've got it going through the same way as the other lead was going in here as you can see but this lead is actually going to go towards the front so I'm going to be threading it through the hole just at the side there running it down this channel towards the front of the car so as you can see, it's coming out the car just here. Put the car to one side, because now I think these have dried enough to put them into the radiator here. One and two, just like that. This is then gonna get mounted to the front of the car here, into the slots just at the front here like that and they're held in with AP screws now these screws are put in at an angle because that radiator itself is at an angle okay the bottom lead here which is coming out of the radiator is going to house the pipe that we just put through so I've got that here I'm going to push that onto the end of that pipe. I don't know if you can see that, but that's on like that. Now the other length of cooling pipe that we cut off is gonna follow the same route to that one. So I'm just threading that through here and it's gonna go into the top pipe here, down where the original one came out of, which I've got here, I'm just pulling that down. So it's coming out the back of the car. We're not actually connecting this up to anything at the moment. 
I do want to tuck these wires down by the side of the chair here. So I'm just doing that now. Now I'm just going to turn the car over because once again, you do want these wires to be behind the fuse box. So I'm just going to tuck them in from the underside here so they are behind the fuse box here. So I would take my time on that, but as you can see, I've now got two pipes coming out the side here. Excellent. That is all there is to do in that stage. In stage 67, we're attaching the cockpit floor panel, which looks like this. So quite a simple stage, this one. All we're gonna do, turn it upside down, just like that. Now, before we actually put this on, we've got some CM screws here that we need to take out. So, one there, and one on the other side, which will enable us then to put this floor panel on top, just like that, and secure it down with PM screws. So I think I'll put those ones in first. And all together, six screws going in here. This is the last one going in. That's another part of the floor done. And that is all there is to do in that stage. In stage 68, we're gonna be fitting the cockpit housing and the handbrake to get all these out. Bring the car back over. And what you see that we have here is just gonna go into this side here. The lip on this side is going to be going over the top, so we need to put that at an angle just like that and get this all locked into place. And there you go. When that's sitting in, it should look just like that. It's going to be held in with some IM screws. So, two on this side. That's one. One here. That one's two. And then one is going to secure it to the chassis just between the seats here. Make that nice and tight and then that is securely in place. Let's put that to one side just for a second because I've got a cable here and a little linkage and this is for the handbrake. I want to put the cable on one end just here so that fits on. Once again, bring the car over. And this is just going to go into the D-shaped hole we can just see at the side there. Put that in. That's in just like that. And then if I turn this around, we have got a little nipple on the wall here for this pipe to go into. Get that on just like that. So that's in place. And we're going to do the same on this side here. But before we put that one in, we do need to make sure that the screw holes are vacant from the pipe. Remember the pipes that we put through there? So that we can actually get this piece in. This one's going to take a little bit of manipulation. But hopefully, I should be able to get this into place. There we go, that's in. And once again, I am screws to secure this down. Now on this side, we've got two I am screws to put in, to put it into the base. I'm just doing this last one here. Perfect. And that now is secured into place as well. And that is all there is to do in that stage. So in stage 69, we're gonna be mounting the fuel pump on the left chassis plate. We've got another little metal detail here. So first thing I'm gonna do is take this backing plate here and I'm gonna be mounting the fuel pump to it. Making sure it's the right way around. D-shaped hole, and that's just pushing in like that. This, in turn, is gonna be going into this plate here, just into the hole. And again, it's a D-shaped hole. So get that lined up and push that all the way down. Perfect. So that looks now like that. I'm gonna be making another lead up here, which means I'm going to be using that glue because I do not trust these metal things that I put over the top. They never hold very well. And that's the cable in that side there. 
And once again, not taking any risks. Just going to put this capillary action CA glue around the joints here. So this is going to be going on the nipple just on this side here. So it's going off in that direction like that. And that is all there is to do in that stage. In stage 70 here, I'm going to be installing the fuel manifold and we've got some fuel lines to attach. Again, more of these metal wires. I need the base here of the fuel manifold. I've got a little cap to put on top, which looks like this. It's going in this way so that the nipple coming off of that cap is pointing away from the nipples there. I've got a pipe to put into this silver cap. So that's all the way in. This whole thing then is going to be going onto this section here where we can see two holes. Pushing that all the way in. There we go, that's locked into place. Get me tweezers out and this pipe is going into the nipple that we've got into that section there. I've said nipple a lot of times today, haven't I? There you go. All we're going to do is take the oil tank support frame now looking like this. I've got an electrical switch which is going in here so there's a little cross frame visible. Let me uh, put this in first. And that little cross frame is facing out there as you can see. Again, I'm going to be putting these metal ends over these pipes. And I will glue these into place because I, again I don't trust them not falling out. And that one's two. And uh, we're waiting for that glue to dry because that's all there is to do in that stage. In the penultimate stage here, stage 71, lots to do here. We're going to be assembling this oil tank, get everything out. And I'm going to need the oil tank body looking just like this. And I have got a little bracket to put on. It's going to go on this way here, just over these joints at the top. So gonna to sit just like that, held in with an AP screw. By putting that bracket in, it means I can put the other side in now, just on the top, and then I can put some AP screws to hold that into place. So now we have a complete box there. I'm then gonna bring over the frame that we made earlier because I'm gonna be attaching this to the points inside. These are just gonna to go together like this. Make sure they lock in there like that held in with MP screws just through these two holes. There you go, that's on like that. We've got a bracket to put over the top of this, which is just gonna go underneath each section here. One, just slide that under. Make sure it goes under the whole unit there so it's fitting flush just on top like that. I've got another little join to go into this hole here. So that's in like that, the pipe work there. Then this whole thing, if I just pass that cable through there, it's gonna be attached to the base just here. Checking that's in, okay. Like that, held in from the underside with IM screws. Two screws to get this in. I need to take the long oil hose. I need to cut some lengths off of this. So I need a uh, one length of 40 mils. So I've got that here. And I need one length of 140 mils. And I've got that there. Now the longer lead is gonna go into the oil filler cap here. Push that on. I have got a little handle to go on top of that, which again, just pushes in like that. The smaller hose that I've created here is just gonna go into the pin on this side there. And the other side is gonna go into the top of that connector that we just put in there. Gonna need me tweezers for this, because we've gotta bend this sort of like in an S shape. 
just like that. Realistically, I don't think you're going to be getting the kinks out of that, but <laughs> it shows what it's looking like. Now I've got a smaller pre-cut section of oil hose, which is going to go on the other pin. Look at me calling them pins now and not nipples. <laughs> That's just going to go onto the top of that connector that we just put in earlier. So I get that pushed in. And there we go, that one's all the way in as well. And then I've just got a support rod here which is gonna go into the hole just behind this back tank box here. Just like that, I want it pointing off in that direction first. So, bringing over the car again. This is probably going to be only visible on the top camera, but remember I had two hoses coming on here? Very important that I remember those. Now, one of these leads that we have here, you can just see is the cooling water pipe. That's going to go on the bottom of that connector there. So I'm going to connect that up. The other one is the oil pipe, which is going to go onto the nipple that we can see just at the bottom of the tank there. Once those pipes are in, I can line this up with the chassis here. Putting one of these leads up. And then the support pipe is gonna go into the hole that I've just got at the side here. Very hard to show you, but that's it. I'm just gonna take this lead out for a minute because I need to secure this down. I'm gonna secure that from the underside with BM screws. There we go, that's in place. Excellent. Now the reason I took this one out is because it's gonna go into the other side of this cylinder that you can just see, hopefully, at the top just there. It's gonna go in this side here, the other side is gonna go in there. Now it actually bends around in like an S formation, so I'm gonna give this a pre-bend and try and get this in. This is why I glued this side in because this is gonna be a bit of a nightmare. And there you go, it's probably best to show you now a close-up of everything in place. That is all there is to do in that stage. You do remember we have these left over, we haven't used them in this stage. We've also got the oil cap and pipe. So, in the last stage here, stage 72, we're going to be fitting, uh, connecting the fuel and oil lines and fitting the left rear wheel arch. So I'll get all this stuff out here. Let's put that to one side because we're going to need to start with the oil cap and pipe. I'm bringing this over now so you can see it. I'm going to be putting the cap just on top of this section here. Make sure it fits into place. And then the other side of this is actually going to connect to the nipple on this reservoir here. So we just need to pass this through the frame get this into position and put this in over the nipple there we go as you can see that's in there onto the reservoir now i've got these two braided ones that we glued the ends of earlier the ends that i put the metal things on here are going to be going on this side and i want to pass it all the way through the engine to the other side there you go that's in now these two ends here are just going to go onto the nipples on this section at the back it's going to be pretty hard to get these in but hopefully now i've glued these they should stay in position and there you go as you can see they're both in there no problems so these are then coming out the other side here i think they eventually go onto these points here but they don't want us to put those in yet so we can leave them just as they are all that's left to do then is to put this wheel arch on. So to do that, all I'm gonna do is take this little section here, slot that into the top, push it in so it looks like that. And then this section here is gonna go under the plate that we just put in. And the back section is gonna go on just like that. Now, all of these back sections here are held in with IM screws. So as you can see, I've got four in there. I've put one in there, then I just need to turn it over and just put the ones in here. Now, in these ones, it's BM screws, it's not the IM. So, get this in. 
and then once again I've just put the switch on I just want to check everything's working and plug the speaker back in so we've got the engine noise the the horn I haven't got the lights actually attached let me just plug one in so we can just double check that those lights are working always good to uh, check the electrics as you can see the lights coming on and off there perfect and obviously the other lead that we connected was the brakes is a mission in itself but uh, I'll try and activate the brake switch and as you can see they come on as well so the whole running time of that was two hours it took me two hours to do I did have to do a little bit of soldering because the wire came off my switch as well but everything's working and it's looking oh let me just fold this back brace over it is looking pretty amazing i'm sure you'll agree excellent but i do think that was the hardest things out the way now so uh, everything else is just actually attaching the bodywork so it shouldn't be as difficult as that stage or that pack that we just done anyway if you want to get this for yourself i have put the link in the video description you can get this all the way from pack one but i really hope you like that video if you did please remember to give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already please remember to subscribe other than that take care